people, it's 6.23 on a Sunday morning and we're up and out. You don't ever see this time of day. And the only time my alarm is getting set in the morning is if something exciting is happening. And I can tell you that it is. But I've just had a call from the tour guide and she said that they're waiting for us. So we better get a move on and get to the bus. We were sat on this bus for two and a half hours from Tirana to Valora. We were plonked right at the back of the bus. It was seven in the morning and people were just singing so loud. The music was blaring out. And as you can see, we were not having the best time. If I was to say that was a good bus ride, that would be an absolute lie. We've just traveled two hours on this bus um, and now we're in Valora. So yeah, we're gonna go get the boat, I guess. This is the port at Valora and it looks really beautiful. I feel like we need to come here one day. So if you want to come with us here, then be sure to click that subscribe button and the bell notification for upcoming videos. We're on deck. Now I have to take my hat off to this boat company. They provided entertainment the whole way on the boat trip, which took two hours from Valore to Sazam Island. People were just having a good old dance and a really good time. The vibes were there. There were so many Albanian locals just on this boat trip with their families. We definitely were the only foreigners on this boat trip, but it was amazing to get an insight into the Albanian culture. They also provided us with a little croissant and a drink on the boat trip too, which was a nice bit of addition. So we just got off the boat and made it to the first stop, which is... <laughs> That's me. Sha Shazan Island? Yeah. Shazan. Shazan? Maybe. Anyway, it's uh, an island on the it's on the southwest. Near Valora, so just away from Valora. Yeah. It's kind of, I guess it's just treated as a military base. I know well, that... it's an old military base. Quite interesting. There's a few little things to check out here. So, we've got like half an hour to see as much as we can here. Yeah. She did tell us that there are snakes and stuff. So well, it's, we're all, it's all over the place, isn't it? Like, you've got these two. The base of the whole thing is the base camp by the looks of it. I feel like the whole island is the military base. And so. There's snakes everywhere. That's all we she said. There's <laughs> loads of snakes and bugs. <laughs> so that sounds exciting. There's loads of these little bunkers just like wedged inside in the, on the sides of the hills. Oh, what would that have been? They call trenches. Oh, really? That's a trench. Yeah. This says Shkola. Do not know what that means, but let's go check it out anyway. It might have been like a school. It said Shkola outside. If you're Albanian and or you know what Shkola means, put it in the comments below because I have no idea what it means, but it probably is a school. It's a little bit annoying that we've only been given half an hour to explore this southern island because we've only been able to walk up a hill and see that um, building there. I mean, it is beautiful and it smells really nice. <laughs> that sounds really weird, but the smell of nature here is just amazing. So, I mean, if there's any options to come here privately, then I would suggest to do so because it's a beautiful island and it's huge, but we can't explore it all. And there's a beach on the other side as well, which we're not, obviously not going to be able to go to, um, but it looks really pretty. I'm going to head to the boat now and see where we're going next. Back on the lower deck of the boat, they also had a kitchen so you could order lunch. They had a selection of meat or fish with potatoes and salad. I 
As you can see, Charlie was definitely tired out by all the traveling at this point. But we finally made it to Cabaron, and as you can see, there were loads of sunbeds along this beautiful little beach here. They also had a foam party, which was particularly popular with the younger children. And then further down, there was a restaurant. I think this is like the only restaurant around this area, so hopefully the food's good because there's no other choice. Considering it's the only restaurant around here, I thought it was going to be really expensive, but the price is actually quite good. Mm -hmm. Literally, all the beds have been taken, so we've had to resort to some good old towels on the rocks. Well, they're not rocks, they're like little pebbles. How are we feeling? <laughs> I'm a little bit disappointed. Very disappointed, not a little bit. Yeah, but I'm not one to really complain, but yeah, I mean. So we've been, so we left at half past six in the morning and we don't get home until half past nine at night. And we've only had in, so we'll only have once we have to leave here three hours in total of well more two and a half hours of actually seeing things yeah. so the rest of the times we've spent either in a bus or on a, on a boat i'm very disappointed i would not do this trip 100%, no. if I had it. what i would probably recommend is go to valora and then take a private little boat and get it to bring you across here and stay here yeah. for a bit because the boat we was on i don't know how fast it was going but it was Four super speed. slow <laughs> so the same price as what we paid you could have probably got a private boat but it's oh, definitely well. worth it you live and learn so i guess we're just gonna chill for the last hour that we've got and then head back on the boat i honestly thought i couldn't be any more shocked by albania but then i saw a pirate and a pet monkey I've had another lovely little nap on the boat. We finally made it back to Valora. But now we're gonna head back to Tirana, which is gonna take another two hours. We're gonna have another nap, probably. But um, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button, subscribe to see more, and see you in the next one. Ciao. Mi ero